Now we're going to flip the script a little bit, not talk so much about rain, but we will be talking about heat. Temperatures tonight are going to be in the 60s with mostly clear skies. It is a beautiful evening around Northeast Ohio. Just a few clouds passing through. Other than that, we've had blue skies overhead. Temperatures cooler along the lake shore. We're still in the low 70s. Meanwhile, it's warmer farther south. Buoy temperature 73. That's a surface water temperature, 28 nautical miles northwest of Cleveland. There is where the heat lies right now. We are sitting out in the plains states where the temperatures once again are approaching triple digit heat. The heat index is rising above that. So where we have the heat, we also have humidity that is building and it is the combination of the two that will cause a lot of problems for a lot of people. One thing that it doesn't do though when you get these big heat domes is promote a lot of rain development. All of the weather systems work around that heat dome uh, because quite literally the heat is very expansive in the atmosphere and you can't really get anything to focus as far as uh, convection goes. So all of the big nasty storms staying off to the north. We also have a few floaters off to the south, but other than that, it is pretty clear. And now we overlay the heat advisories and warnings on top of that. And you can kind of see how all of the major weather systems are going around the heat. Meanwhile, that heat is starting to move to the east, and that's why we have a heat advisory that's been issued for Erie and Huron counties so far, just those two, uh, with those feels like temperatures approaching and possibly exceeding 100 degrees. That is for the day tomorrow. The good news here, we will have a light breeze. So there's that, but we're still talking temperatures well into the 90s for the afternoon. Your National Design Hour hour by hour forecast keeps the light winds in place tonight. Matt and I were talking earlier about the possibility of some light fog here and there. I don't know that that's really going to come to fruition, especially in the city, but some of the country areas may end up having some light ground fog around. Uh, midnight temperatures in the mid 60s, and by the start of the day tomorrow, once the sun comes up, it's going to start to do its thing thanks to the southerly breezes that are going to be building in. And so we'll quickly jump from the upper 60s into the 70s and by midday look at this noontime temperatures near 90 degrees southwest wind blowing so at least we have the breeze there is that but then when we take a look at the evening forecast now we have to deal with the chances for thunderstorms beginning to drop in these thunderstorms are the same ones that are going around the edge of that heat dome uh, we'll have a complex potentially that begins to move in here by the evening the good news is it'll simmer down the temperatures the bad news is we could have those thunderstorms and they could bring some potentially heavy rain. We're not talking massive flash flood rain, but we could have some potentially heavy downpours coming in by Thursday morning. Some of those showers linger and I think we have a better chance for rain and thunderstorms in the area on Thursday and that may even linger into the day on Friday, which you see here in your union home mortgage forecast going 92 for the afternoon high tomorrow, but that feels like temperature at about 100 will be in the mid 80s. Thursday is going to be a pretty gross feeling day. Scattered rain and storms around will hold the low 80s for Friday. We will get a few breaks in the overcast and the rain action for the weekend. So the weekend is not a washout. Temperatures will be in the mid and upper 80s. It's going to feel very summery around here. Early next week, we'll finally see the temperatures backing down just a little bit as we have some scattered rain and storms that remain in the area. So that is a summertime forecast. This is tomato growing weather. So this is great uh, news for gardens. Ooh, good. You have scattered rain forecast. You've put that on the map there. Can you put gross feeling day? <laughs> yeah, there there's, well? there's all uh, kinds of descriptors. You, you know I use all kinds of crazy stuff. Stuff, you yeah, do. Gross. It's that's just the best word for it. It's <laughs> going to make be us gross. chuckle. So thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Betsy.